What's up fellow dropshippers? In this video, I'm going to be talking about an awesome software that we use called TrackerBot, which automatically uploads to eBay all of our tracking numbers. So in other words, we get an email from our source, we use Home Depot, and the email has the tracking number, and TrackerBot takes that email, extracts the tracking number, and then automatically sends it to eBay so we don't have to do any work. So I did a review of this software a few weeks ago. I compared it to another one called Tracking Pigeon Robot. Something happened with the video. The, the video is no longer available on YouTube. The blog post is available. I'll put in the link below. I'll put a link in the description below. And I'm just gonna talk about TrackerBot in this one because this is the one that we love. This is the one we use. It works really, really well. So this is what the dashboard looks like. Um, when you first sign up, you'll have to connect it to both eBay, your eBay account, and your Gmail account. It only works with Gmail. It's very easy to set up. It takes just a couple minutes. Once you do that, that's all you have to do. It just runs automatically. This is the dashboard. It'll tell you how many tracking numbers have been uploaded since your last pay cycle. And if you want information about each order, and it will give it to you here. Um, as it stands right here, the default, it will show you just the orders that have tracking numbers that have been uploaded. If you change this to all and click search, it's going to show you all your new orders. I just use this to block. Um, it's going to use show you all your new orders and um, it will tell you the customer's name, the item, the price. And then if you want, you can manually upload the tracking number through here and click upload. Um, I used to have my VA do it this way before I gave my VA access to my eBay account. And now my VA doesn't have to do this at all anymore because TrackerBot gets about 99% of the tracking numbers and successfully and accurately uploads them. In the past, it used to be not as uh, accurate, but a couple weeks ago, they made a big improvement on it and it's working much better now. If you do ever have a problem with the software not working, you just have to click this button where it says fill in this form and you can put in a request, give them all the information and they do respond very quickly. The only thing I'll say is that sources like Home Depot, Walmart, Lowe's, Amazon, they sometimes change the email that has the tracking number in it. And when they do change the email, TrackerBot, the developers have to then go in and make changes to it. So when those emails get changed, you gotta be careful and manually upload them until TrackerBot catches up and the software is updated. So that's really all this, that's really all I have to show you about the software because once you set it up, it just runs and goes. And this has been so great and so essential for us because we get between 150 to 200 orders per day, which is a lot of tracking numbers. And it would cost us a lot of money for to have VAs do it manually. And this, the cost of it saves us a lot, a lot of money. There's some other features it has. If you click here, it has a messaging service. Um, you can check or uncheck this, and this will send a message to your customers after they place an order and after the item is shipped. And if you sell Amazon products, then it will also message them when the item is delivered. And for this, I just say things like, thank you for your purchase, um, if you have any trouble, let us know before leaving negative reviews. And you know that's helped a little bit to avoid negative reviews. That's really all this software does, but it does so much. It saves us a ton of time and uh, we really love it. So if you have any questions about this software, uh, leave a question. If you've used it or if you have similar software that you like, leave a comment and, and uh, let me know which ones you use. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. We'll be doing more tutorials and 
uh, reviews of different softwares we use in the future. So please subscribe if you want to see those videos. And we will see you guys in the next video.